Okay, this is the second installment of Walking in Victory. This is our faith training. I'm going to try to put out a faith training video every Tuesday in this series, Walking in Victory. And our verse for today is 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 20. For all the promises of God find their yes in Him. That is why it is through Him that we utter our Amen to God for His glory. I love this verse because it's a promise of more promises. It's a promise of all the promises. That we have all the promises of God through the Lord Jesus Christ. Which is just kind of a reiteration of our key verse for walking in victory. Which is 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. So knowing that we have all these promises of God, it would be awesome to just know what are those promises, right? What are the promises of God? The only way for us to know and find out more about God and what his promises are for us is to read his word, the Holy Bible. And I know for a lot of people, they have a hard time understanding the word of God. And I just encourage you to pray before you read it and ask for wisdom, ask for understanding, and he will show you. And I would even ask him where he wants you to be reading because he knows what's, he knows what's coming about through the rest of your day. So I would pray first thing in the morning and just be like, Lord, give me my instructions, give me my daily bread and show me, lead me to what I need to know for today. And he is faithful to give you a thirst for his word and to give you understanding and to give you wisdom. When King Solomon asked for wisdom, he could have asked for anything and he asked for wisdom and God gave him everything else, all the other stuff he didn't even ask for because he asked for wisdom. So there's a lesson in there that we should all be asking God for wisdom because who knows all things? God. I mean, I know you probably have some know-it-all friends and maybe even act like a know-it-all. I mean, sometimes I act like a know-it-all, but I don't know it all. I don't. I don't know it all. Only God knows it all. So first and foremost, ask God. Ask him for wisdom. Ask him for understanding as you even just figure out where to start and what he wants you to read. Ask him. And if you're having a hard time really just diving into the word, I also recommend downloading the YouVersion Bible app and look through the devotionals that they have to offer. Look through the topics and maybe that's where you start is just start with your struggle. What are you struggling with? I've definitely had struggles with anxiety, fear, depression, and diving into God's word and what he has to say about all of those things has been a tremendous help and I've been delivered out of all those things. I no longer have, I mean, I have anxiety sometimes, you know, we probably all do. That's just a struggle, you know, for life that sometimes we struggle with worry and then we keep trying to set it, set our worries and cast our worries with him because he cares for us. And the, his word helps us to do that. Praying helps us to do that. But, um, look at the topic that you're dealing with and maybe start from there. And then once you start seeing his glory in your life and how you're having victory over the struggles, you're going to want to know more about him. You're going to want to know more and more about what's in his word. And throughout the Bible, we see stories of God's faithfulness. We see stories of broken people doing broken things and sinful things and then turning back to God and finding redemption and uh, finding reconciliation with God and restoration. And then in the New Testament, we see, we see just all this glory of of the prophecy being fulfilled that that the Messiah has come the Messiah the anointed one that is promised 
has come and that he died on the cross and rose again so that we could have everlasting life and that we could have the Holy Spirit, the comforter, the helper. And so just access, access what, what you have available to you, that we have God's promises. We have the promised Holy Spirit. Ask him everything, everything. Every single hair on your head is numbered and he knows you even better than you know yourself. And God's word also promises in John chapter one, verse five, the light shines in the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. So whatever darkness you have in your life, whatever struggle you're facing, rest assured that that Jesus, the light, has overcome that darkness. He shines in the darkness. He drives it out. He drives it out. And we know that Jesus is the Word. We know this from John chapter 1, that in the Word was the beginning. And as it goes on, the Word is Jesus. Maybe that's a good place to start, John chapter 1. Anyway, don't let me tell you that. Ask God and he will guide you and just get into the word and start learning about God's promises for your life. I hope this blessed you.